Welcome back to Besame. Today I'll be reading you In the Mountains by Diane Brown. In the Mountains Sam was a boy who was a know-it-all. If the teacher was telling the class something new, he would say, I know all about that. Then the children would say, you always know everything. You can't know everything. You can't know everything, man. The teacher wanted to take them up into the mountains. They talked about the mountains. The teacher told them they would see a lot of trees there. The trees are big and tall. They are not like those in Kingston, the teacher said. We have big trees here too, said Mary. But they are not like the trees in the mountains. It is cool in the mountains. Some of the tall, thin trees are called pines. Pines grow better where it is cool, said Mr. Smith. So now Sam said, I know all about the trees in the mountains. Have you ever gone to the mountains, Sam? asked Mr. Smith. No, sir, but my uncle lives in the country. When I went to stay with him, I saw a lot of trees. Where he lives is hot, just like here, said the teacher. Those trees are not like the ones in the mountains. But as soon as he went outside, Sam told the children, I know all about trees. You are not used to the country like me. It was the day to go to the mountains. The children took lunch with them. They went on a bus. On the way, they saw some trees like the ones at school. But soon they saw trees they had never seen before. These trees were tall and thin, going way up into the sky. Sam had never seen trees like these, but still, he said, I know these trees. I told you I would know them. After a time, they stopped for lunch. They sat on rocks under the trees. Can we go for a walk? asked Mary. Yes, but do not go far, said their teacher. These trees all look the same. You may not know how to come back. Sam said, I will know, man. And off he went. The children walked a little, but came back quickly. It was soon time to go. But where was Sam? Sam had gone too far. He wanted to show them that he was better than everybody. When he wanted to turn back, he did not know where to go. He turned around and around, but all the trees looked the same. Then he saw something like a cloud coming. It looked as if the cloud was on the ground. Soon the white cloud was all around him. He could not see the trees very well. He was afraid. He called out, but he did not know if anybody could hear him. The children heard him calling, but they did not know where he was. Sam was lucky. The driver of the bus was used to the mountains. He soon got to the place where Sam was. He took him back to the others. Mr. Smith said, Sam, I told you not to go far. The trees were all the same. Then there was a big cloud all around, he said. I could not see. That is fog, said the teacher. It is like a cloud and we see it in the mountains. The children wanted to laugh but they could see that Sam was going to cry. Well, said Mr. Smith, I am sure you will know better after this. On the way home, the children were very happy. They were all singing. Sam was very quiet. The children were sure that Sam would not be such a know-it-all again. There were some things Sam did not know. The end. So I hope you liked that short, nice story. If you did, please remember to click the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. And if you've never subscribed to the channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, thank you for watching. Bye.